Kevin, this is Bob. Say hi, Bob. Oh, what's happening tonight? Tonight is uh, October. No, it's <laughs> Holy it's November. Today is November eighth. Yeah. Exactly. Sunday evening. Yeah. We are here in my basement. We're gonna do the root beer showdown. We've been putting this off all summer. We've had these root yeah. beers sitting in the fridge. I don't know why we just didn't get around to it. There was so many other beers to drink. Everybody knows about the night of father's root beer and then Sam Adams came out with the Coney Island root beer and we're here to try them and see which one's the best. Right. I've had the Not Your Father's root beer. I have not had the Coney Island. It's the um, same story for me. Yeah. Not okay. Your Father's root beer. I thought it was incredible how much it tastes like root, root beer. beer. Little sweet for me. Too sweet. Everybody yeah. I talked yeah. to the same Little thing. Little sweet. Anybody who's yeah. tried it probably yeah. agree. Okay. Well, we're so, gonna do this. Let's, well, let's, let's see it. which one we like the best, you know. Alright. There's Not Your Father's. Yeah. And we also got where you go? No, oh, the Coney Island, okay? Which and the Coney Island, which I just found out, is owned by Boston Sam. Beer Company, Sam, Sam Adams. Adams. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I found yeah. out they actually own quite a bit of, you know, quite a bit of different companies: Angry Orchard. Yep. Yeah. Sam Adams owns Twisted Tea, Coney Island. There's a few other small ones in Travelers mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So they're doing well. You know? All right, well, let's get into it. Um, I'm not going to show the labels on these. I don't know why. You were supposed to do that early, remember? You showed yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. All right, I'm going to read them, though. Here we go. Coney Island Brewing Company, hard root beer. Nice label. It's a cool label. It's got a big root beer mug with a roller coaster going around it, like the Coney Island rides. Are you tall enough to ride? It says, drill your fantasies. Are you tall enough to ride? That must be like euphemism for are you old enough to drink. So, uh... Coney Island Hot Root Beer is a new twist on an old favorite with hints of vanilla, licorice, and birch. This root beer will bring you back to the boardwalk. It's ale made with natural flavors and caramel color added. It contains alcohol. It is 5.8% alcohol. It was $2.50 for one bottle. Okay? Yeah. It's, it it's not a twist off. Kevin's going to open it with his lighter, I believe. Yeah. He's going old ghetto school here. Right, right, right. There we go. All right. How about this? We're going to use these little glasses, Carolina's Irish Mist glasses. I mean, Irish cream glasses. That's actually a really cool cap, though. We should say yeah, that. We we'll should bring really that out should, to the regardless cave. of what it is. Yep. You know, all right, so far, uh, you know, point for, point for a pretty cool cap. You know, yeah. it, it's nothing special. It's just kind of neat. I just like it. I do right, too. So we'll pull that to the collection out in the man and, cave. Uh, we're drinking out of Irish cream Carolines, Irish cream glasses. glasses. Yes. Just had them behind the bar here. It seemed like the perfect size to try root beer, you know? All right. So we got a lot of beers to try tonight. Right. We don't want to get too loaded up with these. Well, we know what it's going to smell like, you know? So these really well, root beer. Vanilla. A natural root beer, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, it tastes like root beer soda right now. I mean, it smells. It smells like a handcrafted right. root beer. Yeah. Vir if anybody's had Virgil's root beer, which is a great glass bottle root beer. Let's go, go in. Cheers. Yeah. Let's go in. Don't waste any more time. It tastes just like a root beer. Oof. So sweet. Dangerously sweet, yeah. sweet folks. I, I said right from the get-go when the stuff hit the market. First it was this one, not your father's. I said if you left this on the counter and a five-year-old came by and started drinking it, they'd drink the whole thing and be passed out on the floor and you might end up arrested. But anyhow, it's dangerously sweet, so don't leave it around the kids. Yeah, it, 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 it's really, I mean, that's a problem I have with it. It amazes me how close they got it. it tastes like, you know, a real root beer, mm. but on it, my second so, sip, so sweet. Kevin, on my second sip though, I am getting the alcohol at the end. Yeah, I am in this. Yeah, it, it's, it's just kind of nice. In this. Yeah, it's finishing with a little alcohol that because it's five point eight, so yep. it's there. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. All right, we're going to do something a little different tonight. We're not going to rate this until we try the both of them. Right, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to see, first we're going to rate them and see which one comes out on top. Right. All right, so cheers to that. I'm ready to move on to mm -hmm. the next one. Want me to open that one? Well, I got to read about it. This is a small town brewery makes specialty beers that utilize unique ingredients with an un unmistakable taste of nostalgia. Small Town Brewery, I believe is the name of the brewery. It's not your father's yeah. root beer. Ale with the taste of spices. It's 5.9%. Yeah. 
So one tenth of a percent stronger than the last beer there. Uh, Small Town Brewery is located in La Crosse, uh, Wisconsin. All right, that's about all it tells you about. Nice label, nice nostalgic label. We've got a ship on top with the grandfather there and his barrel. All right, let's get into it. Pop that baby open with the growing crazy lighter. See the smoke. Let's get into it. This one seems a lot darker to me. I don't know. I think they're about the same darkness. I'm not seeing too much of a difference. Right. I'm getting less vanilla root beer flavoring in this one. Aroma. No, I still am the same. I mean, this one smells spicier to me. Maybe spicier, but I'm not getting too much of a difference. Mm. All right, let's just, you know. I did want to mention, though, that one was called an ale. Would it say that? It's ale made, ale made with natural flavors and caramel color added on the um, Coney Island one. And then this one is beer with natural extract and other na artificial flavors and caramel color. Okay, so it sounds like this one might not have artificial flavors, and this one does. Right. And one's called an ale, one's a beer. I'm not sure quite why, but cheers. Yeah. There is a big difference. Yeah. There's a big difference between these two. This one, you don't get the alcohol kick, and this one to me tastes more like... Spice. Spice, and more like root beer. You know, if we're... Mm -hmm. Depending on how we're judging it. Yeah. If we're judging it, which one tastes more like root mm -hmm. beer, this one to me, my, not because my you're not tasting, have to be the one. They're winner. hiding the alcohol better. The alcohol is higher in the, well, not your father's, and they're hiding, hiding it better, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Which makes it more dangerous because a, a kid could really drink this mm. and think this was really root beer. Root beer, definitely. Me? I couldn't hang with this. It's not hangable. It's too sweet. No. If it was a hot day, I just came home and cracked one of these babies open, poured it over some ice, or straight out of the I bottle. I just want to have it on ice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could probably get creative with this and do some drinks with it or whatever. It's a good thing. It's, it's out there. To me, it's more of a summer thing on a hot day. I definitely could not hang with it. Too sweet for traditional beer lovers. But I, I do like the fact that they went back and made these. Right. I do. I like the concept. All right, I'm done. I don't want to get right. too full on that. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. so you want to go first or you want me to go first? No, but you go first. I'm still thinking. All right, okay. So I kind of figured it out, right? Obviously what I said, if, if it was on closest beer that tastes like a root beer, mm -hmm. it would be not your father's. Okay. All right. But if it would be the one that I enjoyed the most, it would be Coney Island. Coney Island, yep. Yep. So what, how many mugs are you going to give it? All, all in all, you know, um, you got to give each one a mug rating. And then we'll see who comes out on top. I'm going to give Not My Father's a three. Okay. And I'm going to give Cody a three and a half. You know what I mean? Because I, I didn't, you know what I mean? Okay. Cody, three and a half. All right. I'm ready to drop my ratings. I also agree with Kevin. Oh, this is supposed to be a three. I believe the Coney Island was better because I think I kind of like the alcohol. I, I do too. I, I like more the so than the finish, sweetness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna come in with a four on the Coney Island and a three and a half on the uh, Not Your Father's. Yep, there you go. Ooh. Excuse me. So it looks like the winner of this root beer showdown is the Coney Island Hard Root yeah. Beer, which is a subsidy of Sam Adams. Right, exactly. Well, get yourself some yeah. if you're into this and give it a shot. Yeah, it, try and be good over some vanilla ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Make a root beer float. That's right. what I mean. Yeah, yeah make right. a root beer float. Stick a straw in it. Yeah. Yeah, stick a straw in it because we're done. Yeah, we are done. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Bob and Kevin's Beer Reviews, and we're on to some real beers.